Hi, let's customize admin interface quickly. This is Active Admin 3.2.0. Welcome. Let's get started. You can go to the step zero, run this in your terminal. Okay, let's copy this and let's open the terminal and run this. All right, okay. And there you have it. Now let's continue. Step one. Okay, let's dismiss this windows. Let's go to the terminal. Where is the terminal? Right here. Fine. And let's type, let's go to the gem file. Okay, here it is. And in the end, let's paste it right here control s okay let's type bundle install bundle install and wait for the best fine let's clear the console let's go to the step 3 let's type rails g active admin install paste it and run it Okay, let's let's clear. Let's type Rails DB migrate. Okay, fine. Let's clear. Now let's type. Let's run the the scaffold for user. Let's create to to see how it works. Okay, let's create the console, run the, the post right here, control S, control paste, raise, let's run, okay, let's clear, fine. Now let's go to the application, models application record and copy this code there. App model application record. And let's right here. Okay, let's okay, fine, let's save it. Fine. Now let's go to step eight. Let's run uh, this code in the terminal. Paste and hope for the best. Okay, let's start the Let's see the, the page, follow this page, and there you have it. Let's go to the admin, and now you are in the admin dashboard. Welcome. Let's admin example login, admin example.com, and the password is password. And let's hit enter, and there you have it. The dashboard is right here. The admin user is working and the comment is working. Okay, let's return to the to the step nine. Let's register our models. Let's control C right now. Let's run this all together. Paste and let's run create a user and see okay I think and create a post okay everything is fine okay let's customize each each file creator you go to the app admin post and let's paste this right there copy control a control v control s fine now go to the user okay and let's paste this check of code control c 
control A, control V, control S, and there you have it. Okay, now let's go to the post, model post. Okay, let's go to the app model, post, and let's copy this inside here. Okay, belongs here. Okay, control S, fine. Go to the user model, control C. Okay, let's enter here. Let's control S. Fine. Now I think let's test it. Oh, let me dismiss this windows. That's Rails S. And let's test this dashboard now. Okay. And you see post and user here. Post. You can see the post and you can see the user let's create a user let's test one let's go to the test one and uh, the email is test one at example sorry okay example.com let's create fine Let's go to the post, let's create a post, and let's see the test, and first post, body, body one, create a post, and there you have it. Now let's go to the dashboard, okay, dashboard, admin, comment, post, and you see that the post, you can view, edit, and delete, let's see if it's working. You can view, you can edit, let's type edit, update, okay, everything is fine, you can, you can delete, see if it's working, okay, okay, that delete, and go to the user, and everything is fine, I think that's all. Thank you very much to join me here at J3 Channel. Subscribe to the post, to the blog. Sorry. Bye.